Hi, have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate Community Forum thread. So here the question is updating file type column for assisting files in SharePoint. So here user trying to update a column for a hosted file solid in SharePoint. Then the plan is for a selected file as a manual trigger. Then try to iterate you know all the files from the folder. I think uh, here we have multiple folders depending on how it can get into work. That's what it said. Okay, so there are some difficulties here for iterating the files uh, when the user selected from uh, for a selected file. Then from there, you know, you go and find all the files underneath uh, in that folder. Even there are some subfolders also there. Yeah. So what I did here is I got a document library called test aj doc lib doc lib and i have got one directory and there are a couple of files here also i did created a couple of folders like folder one and then folder two i got um, uh, you know under the folder one i got folder one file folder file dot xml there is a file i just uploaded then i have got another file uh, folder two file there then in folder three i don't have any file there but i got another subfolder called folder four then folder five folder six all the way to folder seven folder eight nine up to nine there yeah i'm going to create a, a file also here a web document uh, just create a web document there and then just um, let's close that okay so that's created it so just for finding it quite easier so what we'll do is we will rename that file because there are different files out there so just uh, call document underscore folder nine okay here it is yeah okay so what we are going to do here is um, here in this video I'm going to show how to iterate uh, you know all these subfolders and getting all the files that's the plan yeah because that's for the user having some issues here like oh, it's there are some difficulties here to get the file back yeah okay here it is so what, what I'm going to do here is first thing is we need to create a flow for it because the trigger is for a selected file so for this, we need to click on the integrate, power automate, create flow. Okay. Then uh, select one of these out of the box one. So I'm going to select add a outlook task for, yeah, just you know, out of the box one I'm going to select. Then of course, I'm going to change that flow now. If you go, so remember for a selected file, it always going to create under the default environment. Okay. Click create. Right. Okay, let's edit that, edit the flow now. I'm going to use the old designer now. Right, let me delete this step. We don't want this. Okay, and then for a selected file, okay, I'm going to delete this subject. I'm going to delete the importance. Okay, so just that now. Then in the get file, it's, uh, you know, it got that get file properties there. So the plan here is under that we need to get the you know from the uh, from the get file properties we got the ID there for that you know the folder path we can get from here so which folder path we want we are on you know that's what we want to know so under the combos I could go and say give me the folder path here it is that's the folder path okay right. Uh, let me save this. I'm going to say demo iterate files within subfolders. Okay, save that flow. Right, let me go back and refresh this uh, screen so that you know I can now go and select one of the files. Hopefully, my flow should come up here under the automate. Uh, here it is demo iterate files. Okay, let's select that and run the flow and see what we are going to get okay so click on the back button here and see if we go four seconds ago that's done okay so that means i selected the file i got the get file properties uh, then I'm capturing my um, under the combos of for the path here we go that's age test 
aj dot lib okay that's my root directory there don't you that's my uh, basically my document library there yeah all right then so the next step i'm going to do here is get files by properties you know so we want to get all the files underneath so for that i'm going to use the sharepoint connector here so look for sharepoint connector and uh, i'm going to say get files properties only here it is okay so here i need to select again the site address so it's the same site address as our trigger and uh, the library should be the same that is um, you know the test aj doc lib uh, test aj doc lib is my document library then limits to the limit and rest of the folder so uh, you know the folder path i got now here that's a folder path yeah so either I could add the output of this mapping here or I could directly map the folder path here. So that means I could add folder path you go, like that. Yeah, I'm going to leave this compost now because I can avoid one less step then. Okay, so that's done. But then the trick here is because we got subfolders. So in that library, as I shown above earlier, I got folders, then files, then subfolders like that. But I am only interested in the files only. And that's what it said, like, you know, the, the interest only the files here to update something for the metadata, I think. Yeah, the file type. So look for the file extensions, then update the file type column. Yeah. All right, then. So what we need to do here then is um, for the filter query we need to use. So for getting only the files in from that document library, including from the subfolders, we need to put f s o b j object then type equals zero zero means that's that is for the uh, that is for the files okay one means um, that is for the uh, files okay that's why it is so f s o b j type that's a filter query you want to use so like I said, one means that's for the folders, zero means that that is for the files. Okay, so that's done. The next step, I'm going to add another compose here and uh, collect that value here. So collect the value coming from the get file properties. Yeah. Okay, click test with the recent trigger so that I don't need to go back to SharePoint and run it again. Yeah. All right, okay, so that's run ran successfully. You can see now it's created an output here. Just copy that. So press, uh, place your cursor inside, press Control A, then Control C. That will copy to your clipboard. Then edit, then click on the new uh, step again, then use the parse JSON, you know, parse, uh, parse, parse JSON, yeah. Here we go, that's the step we need. So that means the value, value coming from the previous output, that is from the get file properties so this i don't need that anymore i'm going to delete this also the combo step then click on the gen click generate from sample and control v that that will paste whatever it is in the clipboard and click done okay now uh, what i'm interested here is the files whether i got all the files or not so in the compose i'm going to say my file file name with extension here here we go that's the file name with extension and then also you can get the file id also i believe this is id here the identifier file identifier you can get you know so there are quite a few things you can get there yeah <clears throat> so um now uh, let's run this and see what we are going to get so under the test succeeded again save and test okay so it got seven files it said you know so let's have a look we got one two here two files there this is third one then this is a fourth one this is a fifth one nothing inside this is a sixth one this is seven seven files so here we go that's seven files here so let's see then whether we got test.txt file there so let's have a look uh, here we go. It, there is no order there. So otherwise, if I, if I want that in the order, I need to specify that under the get file properties here, I believe, under that uh, filter query. I need to extend this to say 
descending or ascending up thing. I'm not going to try that, but let's see then here. So that's test.txt. Then next is the PDF file I can see. And let's see the last two, the, you know, the document which I created. Uh, let's see then that's all the folder for. Here we go. That's the last one. See, I don't know how deeper it goes up to. Um, I tested up to, you know, folder up to nine. That is quite a lot of subfolders. So it's good enough. And I don't know how, what's the maximum uh, the returns here. I'm not sure, really sure. I need to check the documentation for that also. But anyway, you know, you can see that this is the way you can iterate the only the files, not the folders. Yeah. So if, what what happens if you don't use this query? It means what will happen is when you iterate it, uh, there is no file name with extension is there that is going to get failed. I think if you're going to iterate with the name, you know. So because that's a folder. So here uh, I'm just I just shown you that I only got the files only. Okay. Okay, and finally, you know, uh, once you got the file, you can use the um, this step here. I just added that update file property step. Then you can get the ID from the previous step here. You know, the ID. Um, there are three type of IDs here. I, I, I'm not sure which one you need to use here. I don't know this ID identifier or this ID. I'm not really sure. Uh, you need to check that. Most likely, I think it's maybe it's the, this ID. I think that's a file ID. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I think. Uh, let's have a look uh, from the. Um, let's see then this one. Uh, I'm going to add a notepad here. Okay, that's what we got earlier. So you can see the here the um, ID here. So identifier we seen. Ah, okay, that's the identifier here. See that. And that's actual file name actually yeah and uh, you can see the id 37 is actual id also there you know so i don't know which one you need to use for update uh, you could try with this id if not definitely either one this or that it should work yeah all right okay then uh, so um yeah that's the technique mainly you need to use here uh, you know under the get file properties you need to use fs or bj type equals zero remember this is case sensitive so you need to use exactly like that uh, here we go there is an order by here so you could push, uh, put here um, um, ascending or uh, you could put uh, descending yeah in that order you can put all right then i uh, hope uh, this is uh, useful and thank you for watching